What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another DE Hammer video. In this video, we're going to go over my latest build, a multi-layered uh, wood and acrylic mirror that I made for my daughter. We're going to talk about the materials I use, how it all went together, and why I hate <laughs> extruded uh, acrylic mirror. Oh, I had to cut out it three times. Now, two of those times, the reason it didn't work, my fault. But we'll talk about that in the video. And before we get into that video, we need to talk about our sponsor, CNC Labs, maker of the long mill. That's right. This project was completely cut out on my long mill, the MK1. And you can go check out their latest machine, the MK2. You can go check that out on the links provided down below. Hey, already have a CNC machine? You can go still check them out and find bits and one eighth per, uh, collets for the Makita. Man, those are great. Wish I had them for this project, but don't worry, I got some on order and I will be using those in the future. All right, let's get into this video. let's go over a list of the materials used in this project. First off, this 300 by 300 millimeter by three millimeter thick hobby wood. I wanna say it's Baltic birch, looks like it, but could be wrong, don't hold me to it. Just trying to make room for some larger stock of this. I've had this since I first started, so just trying to use it all up. And that brings us into the second part, it, which is the 12 millimeter thick uh, Baltic birch plywood. And I used a 24 by 30 that I got from Rockler. Really like that stuff. Did have some issues on tear out, but that's on me, I'm pretty sure. And we'll talk about that later on in the video. Also used was a three millimeter thick blue transparent acrylic, which was cast and a three millimeter thick mirror acrylic, which was extruded. So if you have any issues with cutting extruded acrylic, you might uh, run into a little bit of a problem trying to find mirror acrylic in cast. I have not been able to find any. Everywhere I look, it seems to be extruded. So if you know a place to get cast mirror acrylic, leave it down in the comments below. All right, so let's take a look at this real quick. It is not finished. No, this is just proof of concept that everything fits together. The top frame isn't even glued on. It's not painted, anything like that. The other thing you're gonna notice is there's some scratches and smudges. We're gonna try to get those scratches out with um, the Novus, but we'll do that a little later on and of course get it all cleaned up. And sorry about those lights, trying to get it to where there you go. So you're not getting that bright light shining in your face. But let's go ahead, take this apart and look at all how this all goes together. All right, and taking this thing apart, the first layer is the frame cover. Now, I did this because I wanted to get this palm tree. And this is actually the one cut is with a V-bit to kind of give it that uh, angled edge. And then it is cut, the rest is cut out with a 0.8 millimeter corn bit. Uh, not the best bit to use, I'll admit that. But it got, was able to get in there and give me the detail of the tree. Now, still need to sand and clean it up and, of course, paint. But this part is going to eventually be glued onto our next piece, the front frame. So let's set that to the side. And... This right here is actually a 12 millimeter thick, uh, is the 12 millimeter thick plywood. And all this is held in place with two screws. There is no glue on this. So let's go ahead and unscrew this and look at all these pieces individually. And if some of you might've noticed, yes, this is a two way mirror. Again, more material. I had already had a piece cut, and if you saw my cutting acrylic on the long mill video, that is what this is from. So I was just trying to use that up. 
luckily I do have some regular mirror, uh, mirror regular mirror acrylic that I can use but wanted to get use this up and uh, again make room for more material now in terms of the screws I went ahead and just bought this set right here and comes with a bunch of screws and nuts and everything that you can use in your projects always great to have on hand and let's just measure the thickness on these real quick can't remember off the top they're just under three millimeters wide and i'll double check on the actual hole thickness i used on this and put it in here but let's get this part out of the way and look at this front frame so here's our front frame you can see we had some tear out here and uh, some here and as you can see here we have our two holes for the screws that holds the rest of these pieces in place. And one of the things I would probably change about this design is that this area here, this lip area, is very thin. This acrylic broke, still holds in place and everything's fine there. But I probably would make, this is five millimeters, I believe. Let's get the calipers back out, measure. It's 10 millimeters, sorry, my bad, 10 millimeters. Maybe do 15 or 20. Um, this happened when pulling it up off the uh, bed. But as you can see here, we got our water and that overlaps just a little bit with our next piece right here, which is this front uh, part of the island. Now this was all based uh went on vacation a while ago and we were in hawaii wanted to say give a big shout out to my brother uh otherwise would have not been able to afford that uh, for letting us stay with him but this was a picture we took from where we were staying and that was the inspiration behind this piece and one of the things i know someone could say is well couldn't you have just cut this whole thing out of the 12 millimeter thick material and just cut this in here and then pocket this down and then cut this out yes but again I was trying to clean clear out material and what I like about it this look is it gives you depth so that's what I really like about this whole project is the depth that is added in all this with all these different layers so on the wood part could you use a single piece yes but you would need to take into account your thickness for this inside framing part and how deep it is now i went down nine millimeters and all three of these pieces fit in there nicely so that's these front three for that front frame let's go ahead and take a look at the back frame now again i just was able to use the same design i used in the front frame the only difference is on these holes i cut them all the way down and then we have our mirror piece that just fits in there and then when these screws go in You screw them in just enough so a little bit is sticking out and the reason for that is so we can put a wire so this will be able to hang now as we mentioned before you, it's all dusty there's fingerprints and scratches that's my bad i it was hot i was tired and i just grabbed a paper towel and was cleaning it off and got a bunch of scratches so we are going to use Novus number one and Novus number two. And so the difference between these Novuses, this is a polishing cleaning and Novus number two is used to get rid of fine scratches. Now, if two doesn't work, we can move on to three, which is for deep scratches. But we're gonna try no Novus number two first and then we'll clean it off again with Novus number one. 
Now, one of the other things I want to talk about real quick before we get into cleaning the acrylic is I didn't put any kind of shellac on here or anything for, uh, didn't spray it with anything. This is just the raw wood cut down, uh, pre-sanded, but you can see got some tear out there as well. What I've noticed when I don't put a shellac on the wood, it's more prone to tearing out. I also used the down cut bit and probably should have used an up cut bit and I should probably in, uh, buy some more. I think they're getting dull and that's part of the issues I've been having with tear out lately. So I'm gonna go, I already got an order in to get some more up and down cut bits to try to help prevent some of that tear out. All right, let's move on to cleaning up this acrylic. Let's get this out of the way. Let's get our microfiber cloth and just get some of this dust off, see what we can get off without having to use anything. Get all these oils off. There we go. All right, we'll set this to the side. Now let's get another one here. Actually first, gonna put my glove on. And put this down so we don't accidentally get more scratches. Those corners wanna come up, so let's flip it over. There we go. Oh, still wanna come up. All right. First, we're gonna give it a cleaning. So we're gonna use the Novus number one. Shake it up. And what do the directions say? Shake well, test in an inconspicuous area. Given that this is where we're at in the project, I'm just going to go ahead and try to clear it. I've used this stuff before, haven't had an issue. Haven't tried it on mirror though, but who knows? We'll see. Step two, remove surface dust with a soft cloth. We already did that, but let's go ahead and do it again. Just really make sure everything's off. Step three. Spread evenly over entire surface. And then step four, buff with a clean, soft, lint-free cloth immediately. So give it a few more shakes here. And now we'll just start cleaning. Now this again is only the first part. We're gonna come in after this and do the number two as well and see if that gets rid of our scratches. But right now, we're just gonna clean it up as good as we can before we try to get rid of any scratches or marks on it. And just buff this out. Now it already looks a lot cleaner, but we can still see scratches on here. And let's just see if we can get them out. All right. All right, think we're good there. Before we flip it over, Let's go ahead and try the number two. We'll see if the scratches are on this side. And like number one, the first one is shake well. So let's shake this up. And again, it says remove surface dust, dust with a clean soft um, cloth. We've already done that. Apply polish in circular motion until dry. Buff with a clean cloth. Repeat as necessary. So, we are gonna go and get a new clean cloth. We're going to apply this to the cloth. We've got a large surface area here, so I'm gonna apply a bunch. And now, let's see if it works. See what happens. And it's taking off the mirror. So I am going to have to recut a piece and make sure I don't <laughs> use and make sure I don't uh, scratch it up. Don't use um, paper towels to clean your acrylic. Yep, 
that was a, my bad on my part. Not blaming this on the manufacturer whatsoever. But let's just go ahead and clean the whole thing up. Look at that. Ooh. You know, I guess what we could say about this then, I can still use this piece. And um, just put a put this in front of the other uh, acrylic mirror piece. Maybe add a little bit more depth to this. But let's make sure we get all that acrylic off. And just keep going in circular motions. Make sure it's all off. Not that we wanted it off, but it is what it is. So, we all learned something today. No joke, but this went ahead and took off all that mirror acrylic. Yep, this is not in the acrylic, it is just on the back side. Let's see if we can see any scratches. No scratches. But still see some mirror parts here. Let's go ahead. Try to get it all off. Why not? And so, remember when it said use an inconspicuous area? That's why. You don't know what's going to happen. So, just goes to prove. Read directions. <laughs> when it says test in an inconspicuous spot, test in an inconspicuous spot. I learned the hard way for you. Luckily, I do have more mirror acrylic that I can use. So we're going to go throw that on the long mill and get that cut out. And also we're going to paint the rest of the frame. So let's go into that and I'll meet you on the other side of there. Such a beautiful morning. Such a beautiful morning. Searching for answers Searching for clues Three, oh, it's magic number. Yeah, it is. All right, I won't sing anymore ever again, sorry. But third time's a charm. Kind of. So, normally I use the blue painter's method tape method to hold down my acrylic. I had a bunch of this left over from when I did the insulation in my garage. So I was like, this seems a lot faster than having to wait, set, dry. Did it work great, held, flat, great cutting. One problem, when I went to go take it off, you can see here, of course, it has to pull off the acrylic backing. Now. Luckily, as you can see, it was hidden. So I can work with this. I'll be fine there, but urgh, extruded acrylic, just so many issues. Um, from wiping it all off to scuffing it all up to that happening. So not necessarily that this is the material's fault. First one, my fault. Second one, property of the material, but still my fault. And third one, using a new method and not knowing it was that strong and would take that off. We'll call it my fault as well there. However, with a, let's say you had it double paper face mounted and you put it on that tape, that stuff is gonna hold. I'm gonna figure out find out what it is if you know put it down otherwise once I do find find this particular one I'm going to put it in the links below but now we can go ahead and get moving and putting this all together and there we go all finished I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, you know, I was even thinking with that one piece that I took all the uh, mirror off of, 
that that could be kind of like for a you know dry erase marker and with as much issues I've had with this uh, mirror stuff no we're gonna leave it as is just look at yourself make sure your hair is done before you go to school um, this is for my daughter so maybe in the future I can add something and try it out when I feel a little bit more like okay when I forget about all the issues I've had with this project have passed we'll try that out and I'll let you know Thank you everyone for watching. It always means so much. Uh, thank you CNC Labs for sponsoring these videos. Remember all of this was created on the long mill. And until next time, keep making it.